Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel and in this video, we will learn some grammatical rules, okay? We often tend to do some grammatical errors when we write something in English, especially in the exam or when we are writing uh, article, seminar paper, research paper like that, or whenever we are speaking. So we often tend to do this kind of mistake. So I will try to uh, give you five examples of uh, common grammatical mistakes that we often do. So I hope it will benefit you, okay? Number one is, uh, we often end a sentence in a preposition. We often end a sentence in a preposition uh, either in hurry or in uh, our ignorance. Okay, so that kind of thing we often do. So let's take an example here. That here you can uh, you can see here in the screen it will be pop out. Uh, what reason did he come here for? Right? Then question mark is given. What reason did he come here for? But this is the wrong way to end a sentence. You don't have to end a sentence in a preposition. That is one of the grammatical errors. One of the basic grammatical errors. This kind of sentence we often make in hurry. We often make in our ignorance. So you try to avoid this kind of mistake. So what will be the correct one? The correct one will be, uh, for what reason did he come here? Question mark. For what reason did he come here? Like that, you may or you might have done many mistakes. So from now on, please do not do this kind of gra grammatical mistake, especially in the English literature. I hope you have understood. Okay. Then number two, lack of subject verb agreement. This is one of the basic mistakes that we often do okay even learn person to do because when we write at the time we are going uh, with the flow so in our flow we often uh, omit things so it is one of the grammatical mistakes we often do uh, when we write a sentence at the time our verb should match with the uh, subject or our subject should match with its verb okay here let's take an example that this this recipe is, is good for good for beginning uh, chaps right so here this is the wrong way to write a sentence. Why? Because here we have said this, T H E S E. This means a, it is plural. If the subject is plural, then verb will be plural. So answer will be this receives, oh, sorry, this recipes. Sorry, uh, I uh, have pronounced in, in a wrong way. So the answer will be, correct one will be, these recipes are good for beginning. Then our another grammatical error is unnecessary, unnecessary commas. We often use unnecessary commas in our writing when we are in hurry, especially in the exam. Like here I have given an example in the on the screen you can uh, see she had a stomach ache because she ate too much so here uh, because she ate too much ice cream so here uh, an unnecessary comma is given so you have to avoid this kind of grammatical mistake so the correct one will be she had a stomach ache because she ate too much ice cream so here we have removed the comma so this kind of mistake to be often do you try to avoid it then the next one is comparison that are incomplete so we often sometimes write sentence and we try to compare something in uh, with that sentence but our sentence are often incomplete due, due to our comparison like what here you can check this out that my hair is smoother and softer okay soft means so here uh, we have omitted some lines and that kind of thing you don't have to do in that means don't do the correct one will be my hair is smoother and softer than it was a month ago as you are comparing so you have to write the timeline or period from which period you are comparing and saying this sentence that thing you have to keep in mind then Number five is pronoun disagreement. We often uh, do this mistake that uh, example is given here that every boy must bring their own lunch. Every boy must bring their own lunch. This is just an example. There are many more where we commit this kind of mistake. So you have to find out the sentence or wh wh when you write a sentence, then you proofread it or you revise it. Then you will get, get to know about it that whether you have done any kind of pronoun disagreement or not. Like here you can uh, see that every boy must bring her uh, their own lunch. So here there is, a, it is not the correct way to use. So here, pronoun this agreement is done so if we have to correct it then we have to remove there and we have to uh, bring his uh, in the place of there and the correct one will be every boy must bring his own own uh, lunch if there was a girl so then it will be uh, if there was a girl then it would be uh, her okay it will change according to circumstance that you all know i don't have to reiterate but still okay the la then last one uh, one of the most basic grammatical errors that is missing comma in a compound sentence we often do it right so uh, here a sentence is given example is given uh, jim went to the uh, store and Ila went with him here uh, if you look then all is okay okay but here as it was a compound sentence that's why we would have used comma that we had omitted so the correct one will be Jim went to the store comma and Ila went with him so like this you uh, you might use many sentence you might make many sentence you might you might write many sentence so while writing this kind of sentence you have to uh, very careful that whether you have missed punctuation or comma in a compound sentence this thing you have to keep in mind so this was the basic video about some common grammatical errors that we often do and i hope from this video uh, you have learned something and from now on uh, you will you would not do this kind of mistake so thank you so much for watching the video bye bye